Have you ever had somebody reach their hand into your chest, grab your beating heart, tear it out, show it to you, spit on it, and then throw it to the ground? If you play video games, you've probably had that done. If you watch The Simpsons, you've probably seen that done. Well, my friend, that is exactly what the Baofeng Corporation did to me when I got my Baofeng UV5X GMRS radios and reviewed them a few weeks ago. If you watched that review, you may have noticed I was not too happy with it. If you didn't watch it, here's a few select clips to give you an idea of how it went. But seriously, up front, I'm not gonna string it out. There are some serious issues with these radios. Do not buy these radios. For me, it's a big deal. These pieces of shit, because they're the same. They're both pieces of shit. You cannot remove the tones from the keypad. Does not work. Yep. Piece of shit. Basically, a defective radio. Does not allow you to do it. Yep. Piece of shit. Why, Balfang? Why? Or for some stupid reason, you piece of shit. You dream crusher, you piece of shit. So my two dream crushing turds, they're going back. I was not happy. I spent my own money. I ordered these radios. I was excited to use them. And what I got, what they shipped, not just to me, but to everybody, were basically defective radios. They did not work as advertised, as designed, out of the box. To me, that is not acceptable. They did release a firmware update. Shortly after, they responded quickly. But you can only update the firmware if you have a Windows PC. It's great for everybody with a Windows PC, but if you're one of the millions of people that have a Mac or Linux or Chromebook, you're out of luck. So I sent them back, got my money back. Well, apparently in China, where Baofeng is, they have the internet and YouTube there too, because they watched my video. They were not happy. So radiodity, radiodity, radio diddy, Rayodity contacted me. They're the big US distributor for Baofeng. And they let me know that they fixed all the problems in the new Baofeng UV5X GMRS radios. And they sent me some for free, no charge. I did not pay for these. I did pay for the first ones. Got my money back, like I said, because they were a piece of, because they did not meet my requirements. They've sent me a new set, updated firmware, Fixed all the issues they say, they asked me to do an updated review, see how I like them. Now, I just received these yesterday. Other than taking them out to get the batteries so that I could charge up the batteries, I have not touched them. I have no idea if they work. I have no idea if the changes they made are correct or if they fix the issues. So as I go through these and turn them on, I haven't even turned them on. I don't even know if they'll power on. So it will be as exciting for me to turn these things on and see if they work as it will be for you. It's like watching live TV. What could happen? So I'm not gonna do an unboxing because you know, unboxing videos are stupid wastes of time. However, I am going to open the box and go over what's in the box so you know what you get if you buy these radio. That is, that is not an unboxing. Unboxing videos are stupid. I'm gonna debox the stuff to show you what you get. The new Baofeng, they are brand new. They just put them on the market a month or two ago, if that. This is the newer version. I have to admit, if all this stuff is fixed, Baofeng did respond quickly. I mean, days, weeks, and they had this stuff resolved. So they say, we'll see. So you gotta give them credit for that. So uh, I forgot what I was saying. The Baofeng UV5X GMRS it is a fully FCC Part 95E compliant radio. It's actually two radios. It costs uh, $60 for the set of two, which is a, a really good price if they work. So what you'll get, you get the instruction manual. I went through that already in the previous video. If you didn't watch it, you should. You get your two UV5X radios. It's basically a UV5R, but with the GMRS FCC Part 95 rules baked in. So the radios know all of the GMRS channels. They're pre-configured with the GMRS channels. The radio knows the rules for how high a power you can transmit on the different channels. So it is a real GMRS radio. You can still program in other channels and frequencies to scan through and listen to, but you cannot transmit on anything outside of the GMRS frequencies. 
That's one of the big things that makes it a FCC Part 95E compliant radio. So it is a set of two for the cost for $60. Handsome little radios. You get two batteries, one for each radio, and that is a, I believe it was an 1800 milliamp hour battery. You get two chargers, two power adapters, two belt clips, two earpiece and mouthpieces, and two hand straps. Okay, we're not gonna dwell on that because I went over all that in the previous video. What we are going to dwell on is does the new Baofeng UV5X work as a GMRS radio out of the box? The issues, I'll go over each of the issues that the previous versions had, and then we'll see, do they work? Now, the first issue that I mentioned is that I could not find the FCC ID certification on the FCC website. You can see the certification number here. You can use that ID on the FCC website and look it up to see if it is indeed recognized by the FCC as a valid GMRS FCC Part 95E compliant radio. And indeed it is. The people at Ray Oddity and Baofeng sent me a link directly to it because I was too stupid to find it myself. So let's power these up. Channel mode. All right, so right out of the box, they turn on, they are on GMRS channel one, and it looks like NOAA channel 11 on the lower frequency. As with the UV5R, you can listen to two frequencies at the same time. We've got GMRS channel one at the top, NOAA channel 11 for weather on the bottom. Now, one of the things that I mentioned erroneously, that's on me, it was my mistake. I, I think I misspoke and I said that it only had four repeater channels. I think I corrected in that video. I don't remember if I just said it or put something on the screen, but it does, I assume this also has eight repeater channels. So let's see. Okay, so GMRS channel 22 is where the standard GMRS channels end. And then we've got repeater one, eight repeater channels. So I did misstate that. The previous version also had eight repeater channels. Again, that's on me. I'm a moron. My apology, Mr. Baofeng. One of the other things that I complained about, I didn't really complain about it. You know me, I don't complain. Have you ever heard me complain? Is that the antennas were not removable. And then I think I corrected myself and I said they're not easily removable. A GMRS Part 95E compliant radio is allowed to have a removable antenna. The FRS radios, and I think MERS, I'm not sure about MERS, nobody cares about MERS, are not allowed to have removable antennas. So if we look at a real GMRS radio. This is my Ocean KG1, uh, KG805G. It has what I call a removable antenna. To remove the antenna, you simply hold the radio in one hand, grasp the antenna in the other hand, and twist. The antenna is then removed. Now, on the Baofeng UV5X GMRS radios, you cannot do that. If I were to twist this, it would break. But what you'll find, and, and I mentioned this, we talked about this, is a very small hole there. And that very small hole has an Allen key this big. Can you even see that thing? So to remove the antenna, I gotta get an Allen key, Allen wrench, whatever, Torx, I don't know what you call it. Loosen it up, and now the antenna can be removed. So it is a removable antenna. It is not what I call an easily removable antenna. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that keeps the kids from accidentally losing the antennas. Maybe that was a problem. I don't know. The big issue that I had with the UV5X GMRS radio the previous versions, the revision one, is that out of the box, they came with CTCSS codes already programmed in. That was issue number one. So for example, if I went to channel one, 
So I'm on GMRS channel one. Because they both had the same CTCSS code, they could talk to each other, no problem. That was not an issue. The issue came in when I invited along a friend, a standard GMRS radio out of the box would never come with a CTCSS code built in. So the issue was, is that I could not get any other GMRS radio to talk to with these radios unless I either went in and removed the codes from the UV5X or added the code to the other GMRS radio. That for me basically made the radios unusable. So let us see now if right out of the box without touching anything, if I'm able to talk to another GMRS radio without changing any codes. Now I'm gonna move the radio away. I'm gonna put it at arm's length because if they're close, I might still pick it up no matter what. And I'm gonna key it up and we're gonna see if it picks up here. And it appears it does. Okay, problem number one solved in the UV5X. So it does not come with CTCSS codes right out of the box. The other issue, this was the big issue, is that it would not allow me to remove the CTCSS code. If I went in and tried to add or change any CTS, CTCSS codes, it wouldn't save it. It wouldn't allow me to do it. That is what basically rendered the radios defective because that meant that it could only talk to another radio that had the same CTCSS code built in. You should always be able to add or remove codes in a radio. The radio wouldn't allow it. So let's just see that has been fixed. I've got to find the CTCSS menu item. That's the receive transmit CTCSS. So I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to put in a code. I'm going to save it. All right, now I'm going to come back and see if it's still there. It's still there, it saved it. That was the biggest issue with the first version, the first revision of the radios is that you couldn't do what I just did. Problem solved. Way to go, Baofang. The other issue is that the radios were not compatible with Chirp. Now that's normal for any new radios and we have to wait for the Chirp people to add it in. So that's not a knock against Baofang, but in their reply to me, they said that they have contacted the Chirp man or the Chirp people, the Chirp group, the guys that do the programming and have given, the, given them the information that they need so that it can be added to Chirp. Way to go, Baofang. So Baofang, not only did they fix the issues, they fixed them really quickly. They, they I'm, I'm, to be honest, not that I'm not always honest, I'm usually honest. I'm, I'm impressed that a company like Baofeng was able to respond and fix and then release these updates so quickly. So way to go Baofeng. So now I'm liking the radios. So the only other thing that I didn't do, I did do a range test before I sent the other ones back, just radio to radio. And that was the same one mile, right at one mile that I get with all of the GMRS radios. No surprise there. But let's just see if we're able to put in a repeater and hit it and test it. And if that works, then this could just be the best economy GMRS radio you could buy. So let's put a repeater in. I've got my favorite repeater 69 miles away atop of Palomar Mountain. That's like down by San Diego, Southern California. I'm up by the... Cajon Pass, 69 miles away. Let's see how quick and easy this is. I'm doing this live. Never done it, I haven't done it before. Don't know if it's gonna work. I'm sure it's gonna work. So I need to go to the channel that my repeater is on, which I think is gonna be channel 29, repeater number 27, something like that. So I just need to put in the CTCSS code, which is 114.8. Let's give it a try and see if it works. When I key up, I'm sure we're going to get static because the microphone is like right there and the antenna is like aiming right at it. But let's see if it works. If it works after I key up, when I let go, we'll hear some static and the little uh, receive light will light up. Repeater check. Way to go, Baofeng. I was able to hit that repeater 69 miles away on the first try. Baofeng has fixed the issues. 
and they fixed them fast and they fixed them right. So now I can say that my heart is no longer broken by the Baofeng man. Now what we have is basically a UV5R, tried and true UV5R, works legally on GMRS. You can still scan many of the other UHF, VHF frequencies, NOAA, uh, many of the ham bands. You can't transmit on them because we know that that would not be legal. And because it's the good old Baofang UV5R that we all know and love, known as the best ham radio on the market by ham radio operators around the world, all those uh, accessories and everything for the UV5R will work with the UV5X, for example. If this little, uh, what was it, 1800 milliamp hour battery pack isn't enough for you, you can get one of these big old ones, 3800 milliamp hour. Now look at that. That ain't sexy compared to that little thing. I'll put a link to the uh, battery and the radio affiliate links below. Good job, Baofeng. Fixed all the problems, they fixed them quickly. Everything seems to work. Once again, my faith in humanity has been restored. If you have any questions about this radio, the UV5X, GMRS in general, leave a comment below. If I'm not able to answer it, someone else will. They'll probably get it wrong. Stupid comments or dickhead comments will be pinned to the top for everyone to enjoy and make fun of you. So think twice before you say something stupid because I will call you out. I don't let it slide like those other YouTubers. I'll call you out and point out exactly how stupid you are. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the train.